It's my privilege and honor as an ordained minister of the gospel to welcome and thank each of you who have gathered here today for the wedding of Garrett and Hannah. You're here because they've invited you to witness the promises that they make to each other before the Lord in this sacred and joyful occasion. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence here with us today, for the way in which you've placed your hand on Garrett and Hannah in bringing them together for this very amazing moment. Thank you, Father, for the loved ones that surround them in this special time and for the love and commitment they feel in their heart towards Garrett and Hannah. We ask, O oh Lord, for your presence and your love to be experienced by each one here today as we witness the joining of two hearts into one that you have created from the beginning. And we ask in the lovely name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Seated. Who brings Hannah to be married to Garrett? Her mother and her father. Isaiah 61.10 says, I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with a robe of righteousness as a bridegroom adorns her head with ornaments and a bride adorns herself with jewels. Today we celebrate how high and wide and long and deep the love of Christ is that we want to know his love and that it surpasses all knowledge, that we may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. It was no mistake that Jesus' first experience at the wedding of Cana brought a miracle. You remember the story that Jesus and the disciples were invited along with his mother Mary and they ran out of wine. And Mary came up to Jesus and she said, what are you going to do about this? And he said, Woman, what have I to do with you? <laughs> and like any good mother, she completely ignored him and turned to the servants and said, Do whatever he says. And she walked away. And it says that Jesus told the servants to fill up six large jars that would hold 30 gallons each. So it was about 180 gallons of water. And he said, Now dip it out and take it to the master ceremonies. And when he did, the master ceremony said, this is the best wine. You saved the best for last. And so what we saw was that he took water, which was ordinary, and made it incredible. And so today what we're seeing is your lives joined together like fine wine. It's a miracle that's going to take place right in front of our eyes, starting right now. Garrett, mm -hmm. <laughs> will you have this woman to be your wife, and will you give yourself to her in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with her and cherish her as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. I will. Hannah, will you give this man, will you have this man to be your husband, and will you give yourself to him in all love and honor, in duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with him and cherish him as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. I will. The exchanging of wedding vows are seriously important before God as you vow your lives to each other before him. So, Garrett, <coughs> yeah. repeat this vow after me to Hannah. I, Garrett, I, Garrett, take you, Hannah, take you, Hannah, to be my wife, to be my wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold. <laughs> oh God! 
from this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better and for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer and for poorer. poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death does us part. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. Hannah, repeat this vow to Garrett after me. I, Hannah. I, Hannah. Take you, Garrett. Take you, Garrett. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. Before rings are exchanged, I had the honor of having about six weeks of premarital counseling with Hannah and Garrett. We had a blast. Yeah. <laughs> and it was so clear that in every way, they're so right for each other. Who, who could take a spiritual inventory test and score exactly the same? <laughs> <laughs> and their spiritual gifts match right up there. They love mercy and they love serving. They love taking care of people both physically and in their hearts. And it's such a perfect match. Thank you. Thank you. Garrett, as you place the ring on Hannah's finger and look into her beautiful eyes, Please repeat after me the words of your sacred vow to her taken before God and before this company. I, Garrett, I, Garrett, take you, Hannah, take you, Hannah, as my dear and lawful wife, as my dear and lawful wife, I commit myself to you, I commit myself to you, as your faithful husband, as your faithful husband, to honor you, to honor you, as a person, as a person, to love you, to love you, as my companion, as my companion, to cherish you, to cherish you, as a child of God, as a child of God. I intend the love I have for you now. I intend the love that I have for you now. To only be the beginning of the love. To only be the beginning of the love. That I will have for oh, years gone by. That I'll have for years gone by. I look forward to sharing my life with you. I look forward to sharing my life with you. Whatever the future holds. Whatever the future. Holds, and I will comfort you. And I'll comfort you. Confide in you. Confide in you. Journey with you. Journey with you. From this day forth. From this day forth. Whatever the conditions of our lives. Whatever the conditions of our lives. Or the world around us. Or the world around us. So help me God. So help me God. You may place a ring on her finger. <laughs> and as you look into Garrett's eyes, place your ring on his finger. And please repeat after me the words of your sacred vow to him taken before God and this company. I, Hannah, I, Hannah take, you, Garrett, take you, Garrett, as my dear and lawful husband. As my dear and lawful husband. I commit myself to you, I commit myself to you as your faithful wife. As your faithful wife. To honor you as a person. To honor you as a person. To love you as my companion. To love you as my companion. And to cherish you as a child of God. And to cherish you as a child of God. I intend to love. I, I intend to love. <laughs> <laughs> and as this is only the beginning. And as this is only the beginning. Of the love that we will have for years to come. Of the love that we will have for the years to come. I look forward to sharing my life with you. I look forward to sharing my life with you. Whatever the future holds. Whatever the future holds. And I will comfort you. Confide in you. Confide in you. And journey with you. And journey with you. From this day forth. From this day forth. Whatever the conditions. Whatever the conditions. Of our lives. Of our lives. Or of this world around us. Or of this world around us. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs> Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come today as a family and as friends asking for your blessing on these two lives and this brand new home that is now being established. 
You have made us in such a way that we feel a longing for companionship and someone to whom we can love and whose love we receive. We are thankful for the love that we see here and even more for the love that we feel from you. We pray that your love will be a shield for Garrett and for Hannah. When joy comes, may they share it together. When sorrow threatens, may they bear it together. In gladness or in tears, in sunshine or shadow, may they draw closer to each other and nearer to you in that eternal circle. Lord, grant them patience and gentleness, forbearance and understanding. Protect their home from any forces that would bring a threat. We ask for health, for long life, and the fulfillment of every good dream. May their love continue through life and finally blend into life eternal. Teach them day by day to love more gently, care more deeply, share more genuinely. And we pray these things with confidence that you hear this prayer of dedication in the powerful name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Garrett, you and Hannah have come before us and before God expressing your desire to be husband and wife. You have shown your love and your affection by joining hands. You have made promises of faith and devotion to one another and have sealed these promises by giving and receiving rings. According to the power vested in me in the great state of Texas, I pronounce that you are husband and wife May God bless you and keep you and give you his peace. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Garrett, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Garrett Anna Lucas. <laughs> <laughs>